Okay, Jim, AG6IF. The part's been inserted. Uh, you can't see it. It's on the other side. Soldered up. Looking at my capacitor here, and my filter. It's got the dreaded green spots all over it. Yeah, this is uh, electromigration. Let's see if we're gonna, if I can give you a better look at this thing. Here's one of the end caps. You're looking through my loop here. Uh, there's green spots all over, all over this uh, that element. There's spots in. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, the one on top, or upper left hand corner, you got a, you got a, the signs of that electro migration uh, creating a short circuit. Basically, that one, that's that was on the end there. That's the usually the output that shorts out. So, get an idea what's going on here. Huh, pretty cool stuff. Box didn't all look in all that good a shape either. Uh, there was some kind of sticky goo all over it, like splattered on it. And I wasn't all too kind to it getting it off the off the motherboard, but yeah, that's just me, I guess. There's another uh, green. Uh, all that green stuff is uh, what's causing the shorts out the shorts in these filters. Here. Interesting, huh? All right, well, this thing's ready to go. Back in the case, uh, the the uh, we call it the uh, heat sink compound wasn't all that uh, uh, carefully applied, so I'm going to try to kind of smooth that a little bit. But uh, hopefully, my radio works when I put it back together. <laughs> if not, well, I'll try to fix it again. This is Jim AG6IF. Kind of interesting. Uh, this is a known problem with these filter caps because there's uh, no blocking diode in front of them and the uh, humidity inside the box that's there when they're manufactured. The box is supposed to be sealed, but there's still humidity in there and it creates this uh, electrolysis uh, situation called electromigration. It's quite a bit on the web if you know how to find it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Anyway, 7-3, this is Jim AG6IF saying thanks for watching.